Who told you I was here? Was that that obnoxious Funky Kong? <laughs> Sometimes our sprites used to change size for no apparent reason. <laughs> we call that a glitch. We've never had any of this fancy 3D stuff. Oh no, we had to survive on what we had. <laughs> and what little we did have, we were happy with. Yeah. You rapscallions. <laughs> well, I've never seen any of the I'll leap of faith. I have several cases uh, old days of all day long. There we go. So there yeah, we welcome go. back to the episode. We've we yeah, I started it earlier. Yeah. Talking to Funky again. Alright, here we go now, boys. Anyway, now we're here with Minecart Madness. This is and another minecart level that I love personally. Is this a, a good one? This is a good one, yeah. Well, all the minecart levels are a lot of fun. Instead of jumping <laughs> with the cart, you jump out of the cart. Oh dude, this looks awesome. And it works Whoa! with the physics as well. Oh, look at that. Like, physics do work in this as well. <laughs> physics. I love physics. They're real video game physics. I could have gone down as well, but I didn't. You know, the more we talk about video game physics, the more this is going to turn into an episode of Game Theory or something. Oh my god, yeah. I don't actually... Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, we'll I get it next time. <laughs> after, ah! after your eye take over and we die. Nope. We, we'll be fine, I think. Woo! Woo! Oh that my god. Close. <laughs> that was. Okay, yeah. we got the checkpoint, so we're good. Whoa! See, we got Wait, another one cool. up. Look at this. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, here oh, comes man. a frantic part. Whoa! Oh, yeah! Okay, I, I missed the end, but okay, that's a fucking. Oh, oh. god. <laughs> That was it's a. I, I was wondering, like, wait, what did I just pass up there? And I did not, the next moment, I'm dead. Like that, yeah, was, that, was, a, that, that was, was a floating tire, indeed. That was a secret. That was absolutely a floating tire. Wait, yeah, what were you saying about that? Um, wh what? It was like, like the more we talk about physics, it's gonna turn like an episode of Game Theory or something. You said you were gonna say something, I think. I, I don't think I was actually. Oh, okay. Okay, here well, we go. This uh, is our chance to get um another one up, yeah. possibly. Ecuador. Yeah, look at them Ecuadors. Da, 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 oh, da, I thought the game froze for a second. Da, 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 da. That would <laughs> suck. I've had that happen to me before with Super NES games. Yeah. yeah, remember when that happened with Kid Icarus? Oh yeah. Is this <laughs> you like shot the guy and then the game just froze? Yeah, it's just like fuck you. Yeah, the G. Well, we don't even least, have the O or the N for that matter. The yeah. N we could have gotten, but yeah, that that's like a really precise time. But what the fuck is that? Okay, it, it's one of them. It's one of the Kremlings. One of the yeah. Now here comes the part. <laughs> That's all you need. Just, I don't know. <laughs> you, you deserve that sad trombone. I do. Being, the, being a trombone player yourself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Part way. Oh, I got it! Yeah, fuck you. Oh, but we need the. We oh. can't get the O anyway. Oh, oh whoa, whoa! Whoa! Pro strats! Look at them. I'm MLG Dong. MLG Dong. Oh, I'm not MLG Dog. <laughs> you ah. just got that thing shoved up in your ass. Just got it. reverse fuck. Okay, okay, this level is actually really fun. I'm it is. Like that, that's why I love the minecart levels. They're so much fun. It's a, it's a nice change of pace from the like traditional platforming. Yeah. See, Unlike Rare knows what they're doing when they're designing games. Oh yeah. That's why they're such a they. Well, that's why they were such a good good company. Yeah. Until Microsoft. Well, Microsoft bought them out, and now they're not really good anymore. Oh. Uh, Ever since the buyout, which was like right after the N64 era. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Around the time the original Xbox was coming out. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you see, I I don't really, like, pay attention to gaming news as much as I used to. Right. Well, actually, no, I pay attention to it more than I do now. Shit. You, wait, you did pay attention to it more? Or you like, do now? Like, I pay attention to it more now than I did previously. Because previously, like, say I was... Like, when I was five, that was when I got my first GameCube. Right. But then again, like, I didn't get any of, like, the Nintendo games for it. Yeah. Like, mainly you got, like, third-party games or stuff like that? Yeah, like, I got, um... What is it? Like, I got The Incredibles, which we played the one time. Oh, yeah! <laughs> um, that game I played the crap out of. Yeah, um, me too, as a kid. What else did I play a lot of? I played a lot of, um... By the way, that's you for this. What? This is you. You, you... I, I can't do anything. Oh, there. are you sure? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I thought yeah, it's... I was waiting for you to do something, because I tried pressing buttons before and it didn't do anything. <laughs> All right, I got this. All right, but we're back to where we were. Yep. But we're, yeah, I we're, also had like a lot of the Rogue Squadron games as well that you might know of. Oh yeah, those were pretty good, weren't oh, they? Yeah, those were fantastic. Like, and to also, be honest, I was actually recently watching a video the other week or so um, about a canceled Rogue Squadron game. Um, um, I don't remember what it was. There was like a something about like a Star Wars thirteen thirteen game. I heard. What the fuck did I just do? Yeah, there was a secret down there. Oh, cool. But yeah, like. 
I sometimes like look up stuff about like well the channel the YouTube channel Unseen sixty four is pretty good with that. Shout outs to them because they the people there do like amazing work as far as uncovering data about um, unreleased or canceled games like the infamous Project Hammer. That's actually a kind of kind of tragic story. And um, uh. I canceled Kid Icarus reboot before the um, amazing Kid Icarus Uprising for 3DS by um, Mr. Sakurai himself, the creator of Smash Brothers. I love that game. I've but it was originally going to take a, a completely different um, approach than Uprising did. Oh, okay, okay. I just completely missed that. I just completely <laughs> missed that. Oh, man. <laughs> why could I complete? Why did I just completely miss it? Now it's Dong's turn, boys. And you just rolled right through those bitches. I did. You can't stop the dong train. That's what it's on time. We're in a minecart anyway, so. <laughs> hey, you can't hey. stop the dong cart. Yay, dong cart. Oh, oh we I, missed wanted the K. The, I wanted the K. Um, we probably could have gotten it if we would have timed the jump correctly. I forget how I got it. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Like we got the O there. Oh, sweet, but we didn't get the K. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Whoa. Ah! Uh, ooh! Ha! Who? Who? Ha! <laughs> Who ha! That's another Diddy Kong joke from Smash Brothers. Okay, now it's you. I got <laughs> one nanner. Yeah, one nanner. I got one nanner. Oh, and also going back to the whole like. Oh god. I was inside of the cart. No, nah, we got the checkpoint. We're fine. And plus, it's the dong. You can't go wrong with the dong. Oh my god. Whoa! Whoa! Man, this game is brutal though with them. Um, only giving you like one hit to survive anything. Well, yeah, but if you were playing like single player though, you would have gotten two hits because yeah, of Donkey Kong and Diddy Dong Kong and, and Diddy. Yeah. But then again, like Donkey Kong is the one where he could do anything in there. Diddy Kong is the one where he can't do much of anything really. <laughs> like you I calling mean, him he, disabled or something? Against the blue guys, yeah. Oh man, I'm fucking this up now. Look the at one this. that goes. Oh! <laughs> oh, I remember those guys. Ah! Yeah. He he can't do anything to those. The big fat ones with the army helmets, he can do. He can only like roll into them, and that's about it. Yeah. Man, I, I like the balance in this game. Like it, the more I play it, the more I realize like how well designed this game is, especially for like the the age of 2D platformers that reigned in the NES and Super Nintendo era. Oh yeah, that's true. Like this huh. one though, it added a little bit of variety with the 3D. Like yeah, with the um, semi 3D graphics. Yeah. It looks really good, though, to be honest. It's a very unique look, which is something really important to have, especially back in times like these when, like, graphics were limited and power and systems were limited. Like, you had to really try to make your game stand out among the rest and be like, this is, like, this is our game, and this is why you should get our game. And, like, yeah. shit. <laughs> but, like, oh, my God. Like, this is the only game that really looked like this at the time. So it's like, you see something looking like this, you're like, that's Donkey Kong Country. Like, that's a good looking game. I thought there was something else that looked like this, though. Donkey Kong Country 2. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, like, this was, this game also probably put, like, the Super NES to, like, its limits almost. Shit. Uh, graphically, I'd say. Oh, yeah. man, we're dead again. Damn oh. we, We're still going, though. We're, like, the, the episodes ain't over yet. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, this game, like, for the way that it did with, like, the 16-bit and such... You know. Yeah, that's probably me. Yeah, it was me. <laughs> but with the way that they did it with the 16-bit and the way they animated it, too, it looks almost... It looks better than a lot of the 3D games that you see, like, once when the PlayStation 2 era comes around. Well, I say, um... Oh, yeah. This is me now. Yeah. I actually say, um... More compare this to the PlayStation 1 era. Because I, I say, um... Oh yeah. PlayStation yeah, right. One was more like N sixty four, but even then, like, as far as like pseudo three D graphics that um this game has, like I've seen some pretty shitty looking PS one games. Like not to rag of the system, it was like it was it very was, good because like they're going like full on three D like three D platforming. That was like the age of three D platforming there with the N sixty four and PS one competing against each other. That's true. But um, like even then, they're like a lot of games are pushing them to their limits. Like Mario sixty four doesn't even look that good anymore today. It's a bunch of, like, uh, like polygons. Like polygons, yeah. You can easily tell it's, like, a bunch of po fucking polygons. Final Fantasy VII is an incredibly ugly game. Oh, oh yeah. It's a fantastic game, but it's incredibly ugly. Well, the gameplay... It, the like, gameplay is, like, classic. Oh, yeah. Because it's fucking Final Fantasy VII. 
like graphics wise, you don't, you can't always judge a game by its no, graphics. Absolutely though. not. That you always have to look at gameplay first. Like, like the new. Oh fuck me. Like I gotta say now, <laughs> like a lot of the new kids and probably our generation, they look at games for graphics. You know, and I kind of think that has something to do with like the psycho, the like, psychology of kids these days, because like. We're in the age of smartphone gaming. Like people are going on their smartphones, like looking for games to play for like five minutes, and then they're they're on to the next thing. Like kids these days, <laughs> I like how I'm saying that, and I'm, <laughs> I'm technically still a kid. But like yeah. the younger kids these days are a lot more like in the moment, I guess you could say. And yeah. then you can especially see more of that um, theme with say like things like apps like Snapchat, where it's like it appears for like a minute and then it's gone forever. Pretty much. Essentially, but like. The being in the moment like that, like the first thing that you're gonna see about a game is its graphics, obviously. Like you're gonna see pictures of the game, you're gonna see how it looks, and not necessarily how it plays yet. And generally, that's gonna be like the deciding factor in whether or not they want to invest time in it and potentially money. Like I, me personally, I love games that have a lot of like pixels in it because I feel like I'm playing a more aesthetic game in an older game. Well, like, what do you mean by more pixels? Like pixel variety? Like, like how- 8-bit games or 16-bit games. Like, where you can see the pixels more than, like, newer games? Because, like, every every game has pixels, bro. Well, yeah, (laughs) well, obviously, but I mean, like, the 8-bit games themselves. Like, the games that have the 8-bit graphics. Right. Those games are probably, like, my favorite games of all time. Yeah, and even, like, graphically, there is, like... They're so much more simpler. Yeah, they're, they're much more simpler, and, like, because of that, there's not really, like, a limit to, like... Well, wait, what, what am I trying to say? Also, that was like, oh, man. What so the close. fuck did I just do? <laughs> I, the exit was right there, too. It, it was. I was trying to go for that secret, but then again, like, physics carried me into it. Yeah, I'm not even going to go for the secrets. I just I just got to beat the level, and we yeah. can save again. But yeah, I was going to say, like, um... Oh, fuck. Damn it. Okay, now, now that... It's hard to play and um, talk at the same time for me. That's true. But, like, with the way... 8-bit games and stuff like that look, like... It can be a really simple, like, a re- really simple looking game, but you really have to go far with, like, you really have to invest your time and, like, passion into making the graphics look good <laughs> in order to make it stand out as an 8-bit game. Like, 8-bit games can look the same as each other, but then you see games like Shovel Knight, where, like, it's still an 8-bit game, but, like, the level of detail put into some of those sprites and animations, especially the bosses in that game. Oh my god, like, yeah. You can really tell, like, the amount of effort that went into it. And it really shows in, especially, like, how good the game is. Well, it's one of the, like, put up against games like, I don't know, like, Fallout 4 or, like, I don't know, any other beautiful games out there right now. Like Skyrim. Skyrim, yeah. <laughs> Even if it's, like, a little less recent, but... That's, like, still five sh- years old still. Still, like, Shovel Knight is, like, up there as far as good-looking games goes. Oh, yeah. And like- speaking of... Oh, actually, um... Were you going to say something? Nah, we can save it for next time. We can save it for next time, because we're going to end off the episode now. And um, we'll see you next time with more exciting discussion with Pags and Lucas. Bye! Bye! Here comes the dog. (laughs) So it's finally here. Before we fool you, if you know the words, you can join in too. Put your hands together if you want to clap as we take you through this monkey rap. Let's take Donkey Kong.